First off, please forgive me for the wet look. No, I'm not sweating, even though it's absolutely boiling in the UK. I've just stepped out the shower, so I'm nice and fresh for this rumor video. Because today, we're going to be talking about potential kill team stuff. Even newer kill team stuff. Not the kill team stuff that we've already been rumored about. This is new kill team stuff. Blood Angel stuff and reveal shows and potentially what's going to be coming um, within this month of August. So let's jump in and let's get waffling as always with these videos i have to say rumors are rumors rumors are all lies right don't believe anything that i'm about to say just because i think it's real doesn't mean that you should think it's real the only time we'll know it's real when games workshop officially announces it over on their social media platforms remember rumors are lies not facts so i want to start with actual reveal shows because that is the big thing this month right now as i'm recording this video gen con is going on in the us if i'm not mistaken but the problem with gen con is that there's going to be no gw reveals there at all and i think the reason why we've been getting blood angel reveals is because of the cancelled gen con reveals for games workshop so i predict now going forward over the course of every monday in the month of august we're going to get some type of reveal that was supposed to be shown at gen con i personally think that it's going to be blood angels related all the way to the blood angel announcement because for what i heard through the whispers in the warp with the blood angels is that it was going to be released or pre-order is going to happen in the month of august so maybe every monday like this upcoming monday uh, that we get maybe the sanguinor um and the sanguinary regard maybe this blood angel captain we've heard so much about maybe we're going to get a preview of the warhammer plus model which i think is going to be blood angel related but we'll get onto that in the Blood Angel part of the video as well. So Gen Con is happening right now, and then you've got Nova towards the end of the month, and this is kind of the big one, because I think this is where we're going to get the Kill Team box set that we've been talking about, the Tempestus Scions versus the Vespids, but I think there's going to be other 40k stuff there as well, and since we've got all the Blood Angel stuff out the way, then what is it? That is like pure theory mode. It could be Voltan, it could be Chaos Forces, Black Templars, um, could be Imperial Guard, we literally don't know at this point so nova now is looking like a very very big reveal show on top of that you're probably going to have maybe stuff like um warhammer the old world of course you're going to have aos and stuff because that's just launched a new edition maybe some more necromunda stuff appearing there it's very very exciting horus heresy maybe he's on the cards for nova this rumored plastic mark ii box set that i've been talking about maybe this is where we'll get the first tease of it Nova is looking very, very good. I'm really excited now for the Nova reveal. Pushing on with the Blood Angel stuff. Yes, the Blood Angel stuff. We're still talking about it week in, week out, even though we've got the box set revealed. I'll put the video up in the background right now. On the subject of the box set, by the way, I actually think it's a very, really, really big of a downgrade compared to the Deathwing Assault box set. I've been saying now for months with the rumors that if the rumors turn out to be true, which they did, that we'll just get Jump Assault Intercessors and Assault Intercessors just with a upgrade kit on there. I think a lot of people would be disappointed and from what i'm seeing in the comments section and stuff a lot of people are disappointed when you look at the old death company stuff and compare it to the new stuff it is it is a massive massive downgrade but again i'm not really going to focus on that in this video we want to talk rumors and stuff like that so the first thing i want to talk about is a potential new model for the Blood Angels, and I may have spoken about this on stream and stuff like that, but something I have heard through the whispers of the warp is a Blood Angel Terminator. I think at this point, it's being called a Blood Angel Captain. Now, from what I've heard through the whispers, that it's not going to be related to the Blood Angel Codex release, which is a bit of a weird one, but my theory, or my take on it, maybe this is going to be part of the Warhammer Plus yearly model. We're reaching that time now in the year where Games Workshop shows off the exclusive model to try and entice you into another year's subscription of Warhammer Plus. Maybe to go along with the Blood Angel Codex release, this is going to be the Warhammer Plus model. So maybe that's why it's not in the Codex, because it's going to take a year for you to actually receive that model again that's my personal vera that's my per personal take on it maybe it's all lies you know rumors are rumors you can never believe rumors as i always say only when games workshop comes out with the official information that's when you can believe it 
And staying with the Blood Angels, I have heard some rules. Something I did hear is with the Brutalis Dreadnought, I'm not sure if this is like the Brutalis as a Blood Angel or a Brutalis as like Death Company or maybe it's a strategy, maybe it's attached to the actual model itself. I absolutely don't know. But something I did hear is that if you shoot the Brutalis Dreadnought in Blood Angel colors, I'm just going to say, that if you do damage to it, that Brutalis Dreadnought gets to move a little bit forward towards you. And then sure there's something that else that had this rule, but I can't really think. I think it was a World Eater, if I'm not mistaken. World Eater Berserkers, if you shot and did a wound to them, they could move like D6 inches closer to you. Was that back in 9th edition? Maybe it's still in 10th edition. I absolutely have no idea. But that is one of the rules I've heard for the Brutalis Dreadnought with the Blood Angel. I'm moving on to Astroath and Lamartis. I've heard a bit of their weapon profiles. I'm going to put Astroath in the background right now. So you're not confused with who I'm talking about. So apparently this chap's weapon will have precision. Of course, since it's a melee weapon, it's classed as a melee weapon. Um, he's supposed to have six attacks. Um, his weapon skill is supposed to be two plus. The strength on that weapon is supposed to be seven. Um, AP minus three. And the damage is supposed to be two. Now, I'm not sure what that means with his old um, his, his old statistics and stuff like that. I'm, I'm hoping there's some rules people in chat saying, hey, Valrak, this is improved. He's got a better like weapon skill, um, AP or something. Please find that out for me because I don't know the, the, the current um, uh, 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 rules for Lamarty's weapon. So if it's different, let me know in the comment section um, down below. And again, the same with Lamarty's. Um, this time I've got two weapon profiles. I'm going to start with the pistol, which is supposed to be range 18. Uh, this is a one-shot pistol. Um, you're hitting on twos apparently this pistol the strength is going to be five ap minus one and damage two and his crozius um again melee because we all know you know it's melee he's not going to be slightly shooting stuff from his crozius unless it's part of the ultramarine film um attacks are supposed to be five weapon skill two plus strength five ap is supposed to be minus two and the damage is supposed to be two on that crozius as well Again, not sure if that's similar to his old rules. Please let me know in the comment section. But that's what I have so far for the rules of characters, or I should say the characters in that box set for Blood Angels. And since I've been asked about this detachment inside the Blood Angel Codex, I have heard of one detachment, and this is a detachment that um, I want to try and base uh, a Blood Angel Force off, if I do a Blood Angel Force. And that is, there's supposed to be like a fast attack detachment in there that specializes like jump packs and, um, you know, fast attack descending down on your enemy really really fast which makes sense if that is true and probably people could just come out with, with themselves because that's what the blood angels um are kind of known as they're kind of known as like a rapid um deployment force you know descending from the skies on jump parks melee bringing it down and purging everyone in front of them so if it does have that then that is absolutely fantastic because that's what appeals to me for playing Blood Angels. And finally, moving on to the kill team rumors, saving the best to last. This is not about the Tempestus Scions or Vespids. We're talking more kill team rumors now after this box set. I know this box set has still not been showed off yet, the Tempestus Scions and the Vespids. I'm sure, 110% sure, that is going to be showing off at Nova. That has to be one of the big, big Nova reveals. As I've spoken about that box set before, apparently it's going to be some type of new edition. Um, jump Pack, Scions, Vespids, flying in the air, new terrain, as we meme about on this channel and laugh about and stuff like that. But we're talking about the next box set now. And I have heard that this is supposed to be an Imperium versus another Xenos box set for Kill Team. Now, I don't want to talk about the Imperium side yet because I'm still not 100% sure. And the last thing I want to do is say, hey, it's this Imperium faction. And it turns out it's not that Imperium faction and get everyone excited. But I will talk about the Xenos side because I've heard the Xenos side is going to be Orcs. Orcs, Orcs, Orcs. The green skins are back in Kill Team. Now, when it comes to what models they are, your guess at this moment in time is as good as mine. I theorize maybe... Maybe, just maybe, it could be Storm Boys because we have this theme so far in the Tempestus Signs and Vespids that they're flying and we know we need new Storm Boy models, right? They are something that definitely needs updating. Maybe it could be like Mega Armored Knobs on, on ground with like, you know, cool, more bulky armor. Maybe Flash Gits could be one of the things, right? Orc players, what could be an absolutely amazing kill team 
for you orcs, for new models to introduce into your armor, right? It could be, I don't know, it could be Grotz. <laughs> Imagine a full Grot kill team. Get them, boys. Uh, stop it, stop it. Uh, I'm, I'm not sure at this point, right? This is this is the initial rumors that I'm hearing so far. But um, the whisper said this potential um, is probably going to be the most exciting, most um, fun kill team box that has arrived in a while so i'm really really interested to see what's going to be on the imperium side if it's me of course i want space marines right maybe vanguard and stuff like that i don't think they'll ever do vanguard in um, a kill team box that they'll release that separately maybe a cool like death watch kill team that could be fantastic because it is against orcs apparently and it would make sense for the for the narrative side and we know agents of the imperium is about to um release and get that codex so maybe they can like mix and match and put something in there for like cooler looking uh, death watch watch marines uh, the sky's the limit at this moment in time the sky is the limit i'm excited i hope you're excited hopefully within the coming weeks the coming months um we'll get more information about it and we'll get more rumors and we can we can talk about it and really really go down that rabbit hole and really explore um what this kill team box set is but until then thank you for coming thank you for watching everyone have a great night have a great day have a great evening wherever you're around the world if you've got any thoughts feedback anything like that Post it down below, and we can have a nice little chinwag down there, as we always do. See ya, and bye-bye.